And as promised, PLOS TV Africa has got the latest on the alleged rape of a year-old girl by a father in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. The latest is that the mother of the child has eloped to Abuja to seek refuge as she complained that her life may be under threat. More details in this report. In response to some of the questions raised in the Premier report, here are some explanations given by the concerned parties. The first point of call was the hospital where the child victim was admitted. The medical personnel involved would not speak as they insist on in getting permission from the Ministry of Health to be in a state-owned hospital. While waiting for the bureaucracy to be sorted out in the office of the Ministry of Women Affairs in Oyo State, the Director, Child Welfare, admitted knowledge of the case and narrated their efforts in taking care of the child and the brick wall encountered by the mother. Our officers, they gave some little counseling to uphold her that the thing has happened. It's just the way out. What happened with the child that is in fourth? And when it gets to the issue of the medical thing, we, our officials, the intended, they have even written referral letter to the usage to find out what has actually transpired in the head of the child with the, with the view to at least uh, 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 to attend to uh, and uh, assist by way of uh, paying bills, the state government was ready. But she vehemently rejected along the line. She would say she doesn't need it. But all of a sudden we heard that she has been uh, living in one of the hotels. That uh, the cousin, they have, they have sent, have sent her out. In a swift reaction over the phone, the woman insisted she and her daughter were neglected by the state. We've been in that hospital for two weeks. Hmm. They were the one who asked me to go to that hospital. I don't even know that hospital. Ever since we were admitted, my lawyer kept talking to the man in charge of the RRT or your team. And ever since then, he would just be asking her, how are you? Uh, how is she? How is the baby? He, he did not call me or anything. Since he said I should only be talking to my lawyer, my lawyer will get back to him. Hmm. So it's until you people now publish this story, that's when everybody is now trying to form something. We're there for two weeks. Nobody came to see us. Ah, even if this is pure water take or nobody. Mm. And they're all aware that I was there. She said she had been under pressure from family, friends, and even the magistrate who accused her of being stubborn. I just hope I'll be safe because yeah, now they're saying that me, I'm very stubborn. The judge that, the judge who told, the, told us not to pursue the case, I heard the letter said I'm very stubborn, that I, I don't have manners. Hmm. Because I went to talk to you people. That prayer has spoken to me and should have kept quiet. The police command, Oyo State, denied knowledge of the case and advised the petitioner to report to the state CID. If they, I don't know if that... Is, it, is, is the case in Ibadan here? Yes, in a good Ibadan. What I want to advise, let the woman go back to the state CID and meet the CCID. Okay. To, to intimate him of whatsoever, all, all grievances. According to the Ministry of Women Affairs in the state, the child is doing well as against the mother's testimony of incontinence. When we went to the hospital, we found out that the child had been uh, discharged. An effort to ask for a, for a year about the hospital could not give. And they get, told us that the girl had been discharged, heal and hearty. Meanwhile, the culprit is still in the custody of the NSCDC. Plus TV Africa will keep you updated as more facts emerge.